Operating Room and Surgeons, Work Related Musculoskeletal Disorders. It is known the great concern existing with the surgical environment due to the pathologies associated with the practice of the profession. It is common among surgeons who perform any kind of surgery, such as laparoscopic or robotic, get pathologies in back, neck, shoulders, fingers and wrists due to their work. These pathologies, which are mostly developed through practice, can cause a chronic injury, even lead to premature withdrawal from the practice of surgery, if it is not treated accordingly. Within the practice of surgery, it is also necessary to talk about the fatigue, discomfort and pain that can be caused during or after performing a surgery. Complex postures, limited movement patterns or awkward movements during surgery may affect long-term surgeon's physical condition. These pathologies could be partially prevented through ergonomic and preventive actions, which may have a physical benefit for surgeons and their teams. This work presents a systematic review with the last studies carried out in recent years regarding the main elements associated with the practice of the profession of surgery. The study has been done following these conditions. All the documentation has been written in English and was released in the last five years. All papers are fully available in different search engines. The treated documentation is based on work-related musculoskeletal disorders, is conforming surgical activities and injuries due to the surgical practices in operating rooms. This search was finished in April 2021, obtaining 2,497 articles with potential interest for the study, of which 13 have been selected for this study. The main method of discrimination has been the suitability of the topic, and from the first preselection, an exhaustive reading of the abstracts has been done. The methodology has been defined by the PRISMA checklist model. With the results of the research, it is possible to underline some interesting data from the articles, such as the data collected by Catanzarit in 2018, in which is reported that almost the 36% of the respondents studied reported continuing working despite the pain, and just the 19% reported injuries to their institution. Far from being different, Epstein, in 2018, reported that MDs may cause an intervention, absence, practice restrictions, or early retirement of the surgeons. Also shared with Airi in 2019, the necessity of physical ergonomic demands. Chassel, in the same year, described the low level of awareness about ergonomic recommendations among surgeons, just the 9%, and the low percentage that apply them. Ale Alevas in 2017 highlight the risk factor according to gender, being female surgeons more likely to receive treatment, as well as junior surgeons pay less attention to the body posture during surgery. Almost all the papers studied place the upright position at the most common during surgery, so back, shoulders, neck and arms commonly suffer most of the MDs. A paroscopic surgery, followed by open and robotic surgery, is the most common type of surgery where more ergonomic issues related with the posture arises. According to the discussion and future directions of this topic, it should be noted that the work-related musculoskeletal disorders are related to surgical practice, mainly in laparoscopic, the most studied surgical typology in this sense, in which the minimum required values are always about 70%, being the usual finding around 90% of surgeons affected by the ailments. The same occurs in open surgery, where the values are between 60 and 80%. These values are being somewhat lower for robotic surgery. The back, due to the operating position, is the part of the body most affected and may favor fatigue in the arms and shoulders. Postures during the operation is defined as a key factor for the development of pathologies related to the MDs. It must be underlined 
that failing treating these ailments can lead to premature withdrawal from surgical practice. Therefore, it can be said that experience plays a fundamental factor to avoid this type of pathology. The ailments are focused on personnel with less experience. Guidelines have been developed, as well as manuals of good ergonomic training practices. In addition, micro breaks, short periods of rest time during an operation, have also been shown to improve the surgeon's performance during the operation. As a conclusion of this study, it can be said that this document summarizes the pathologies related to surgical practice within an operating room. The fatigue, discomfort and pain is suffered by surgeons and their team due to the development of their work. Pathologies and their possible causes have been studied. However, preventive or corrective solutions are limited. Its application today, despite awareness, can be considered moderately low, so surgeons are still exposed to pain in neck, back and shoulders. These pathologies are treated poorly and in a limited way. Surgeons and their team do not usually seek professional help in order to help a corrective treatment. Failure to treat these ailments can cause a chronic pathology. New researches and developments in this area can represent a great advance in the development of tags within the OR. Future researches will focus on correcting devices within the OR that help prevent these ailments review it in this document. Thanks for watching and enjoy team 2021.